Right, now we're going to look into the water intake work topic. So we click here. If you want to make a water treatment plant, you need to choose a river. So the question is, which kind of river that you like to choose? Okay, so there must be a selection of criteria to look for. So the first and foremost, okay, so let's say you must select the best availability, available water quality. So let's say you have River Skudai or River Tobrau. So just check between both of them, which one has the best available water quality. Okay, then let's say both of them have great okay, water quality. So next step is to find out which one has less strong current. We don't want it to have, you know, let's say the water is very good in quality, but the current is okay, so big. We don't want that because if we have that, let's say you are building a water intake structure on top of the river. So it may, um, you know, because of the, the strong current, it may collapse the, the intake. So we don't want that. It has to have a very slow current. Okay. So it will not affect the water intake structure and then the last part the second part the third part is the quantity of water demanded can be achieved even at very low flow rates okay so we have the best water quality and then we have very slow current and then the next uh, criteria to be taken uh, to be taken into consideration is it must be able to uh, give the quantity that you need let's say for kahang uh, water treatment plant so they need 2.2 million liter per day. So that river should be able to cater for that water treatment plant. Okay. So if you are building a uh, 37, 37 million liter per day, then you must find a bigger size of river so that you will be able to cater for that demand, water demand. Well, we have to uh, find out a river that is quite near to the water treatment plant. So I have an example of um, water treatment plant in Sri Gading. Okay. Uh, in Batu uh, you, you used to receive water from Sungai Beko. Distance is very far. So if you have a very long distance from the intake and the water treatment plant, so the costing of the piping will be very costly. Okay, so it's better to, if you can find the river near to the water treatment plant, then that will be less costly. Okay, but if, uh, but sometimes the problem with, um, let's say you take the water from here, okay, so the quality is not that good. And that's why you have to go further up to get a better quality okay, of water. And then you have to uh, make a piping system. And the last part, it has to be easily accessible and for liquid space so that uh, you can do maintenance works at the water intake. This is uh, river uh, in Pendang. Okay, it's uh, Sungai Jenon. We call it as Sungai Jenon. So this is the water intake. So this is basically the, the piping system. So they've got to pump it. Okay. So this is what we call as a pump house. Okay. It is being gated. In, in this, in this um, building, there are a lot of pumps inside. So these are all the pumps. Okay. So the water from uh, River Janun or Sungai Janun just now will be pumped and be brought to the water treatment plant. So we have the intake structure. Okay, so what do we mean by intake structure? Okay, instead of me explaining it, might as well I give you a few moments for you guys to read. Is, is there anything that you do not understand? That you probably need what you need to have elaboration. It's clear, is it? If it's clear, then I'm going to move on to the next slide. So if you want to ask, this is the time for you to ask. No question. So I suppose that, you know, it's very easy. So can I move, move on to the next slide? Yeah. So this is the water intake structure. Okay. So this is what I mean by water intake structure. Imagine if you have a very strong current, so this thing may, may collapse. Okay. So that's why you have to have a very calm uh, river. Okay. Now we're going to learn on the screens. So what are screens? So let us look at the purpose of having screen. Okay. Right, the purpose of having screen is to remove suspended or huge and hard materials from water that can damage the pumps and other mechanical devices 
Uh, those uh, material could be leaves or debris and any other sizable clogging material. So basically, these are the screen. Okay, so we need to have this screen so that it will prevent any huge material like bricks or even sometimes you know people throw rubbish inside here, so like plastic bags. So it will be blocked. Okay, so we can prevent all those uh, plastics or even uh, big debris. Okay, from entering the pump okay we, because we do not want to damage the pump inside the pumping house so that's basically it so those are the things that you need to learn in the water intake topics okay thank you